I'm going to talk about how to speed up your digestion. This video is not just for people that have constipation. It's for people that have indigestion, gas, bloating, stomach pain, anything that could be an incomplete cycle of digestion. So what we want to do is we want to actually break down each part of your digestive tract and just talk about it. So let's start with the stomach, okay? Acid is the key thing in your stomach. That helps break down the protein. It also helps you absorb certain minerals and it kills off pathogens. Many people do not have enough acid in their stomach. Many people have acid in their stomach, but it's not very, very strong. It's a weak acid. So the pH needs, needs to be between one and three. That's like battery acid. If the acid is really nice and strong and you have enough, then the valve on the top of the stomach closes. You can eat food and it just breaks down pretty fast. Adding more hydrochloric acid um, would be a good thing. Now, you're not gonna actually drink hydrochloric acid because that's gonna completely burn your mouth, your esophagus all the way down. So you wanna take a weaker acid that will then build up your hydrochloric acid and that's called betaine hydrochloride. You can get this in a supplement, okay? Now, other things you can do is you can add the materials that help you build up hydrochloric acid. So salt is sodium chloride. So the chlorides from salt can actually help build up hydrochloric acid. Also taking more potassium because you need potassium to build stomach acid. There's other nutrients you need as well, but these are the two most important ones. One would be taking uh, apple cider vinegar. You dilute it, one tablespoon in a glass of water, or kombucha tea. If you're doing kombucha tea, make sure that you get the, the bottle that has the least amount of sugars. Uh, ideally, like two grams per bottle would be perfect, okay? And also, you're not gonna drink the whole bottle because it's like, it's pretty big and it's, it's a lot of acid to drink in one sitting, but both of these would help uh, acidify your stomach. The thing that counters and makes this worse are antacids and uh, calcium carbonate would make it worse. And then we go to bile. Bile is made by your liver, it's stored in the gallbladder and it helps you break down fats. Now you can actually take purified bile salts. You wanna take one after the meal and that will help you uh, with bloating, burping, belching, and it will help in the breakdown of fats in general. Um, if you wanted to increase your body's ability to make bile, you can also take a probiotic since microbes help you recycle the bile. But you can also consume beet tops, so that will help your liver make more bile. Also ginger, artichokes, lemon, milk thistle, and choline. All of these help the liver stimulate the production of more bile salts. Now the things that will reduce your bile would be decreasing your probiotics, that's your friendly bacteria, because you took an antibiotic, uh, taking out the gallbladder, or having a fatty liver, or having some damage to your liver in general. That will reduce the production of bile. You can also have um, a problem with the drainage, the bile ducts. You can also have a sluggish gallbladder. There's a lot of things that can go wrong with that. I'll put some links down below more about the gallbladder, but taking more purified bile salts or things that will increase the bile production would actually help in that section of digestion. Then you have the enzymes. A lot of enzymes are produced by your pancreas. It's right underneath the left rib cage. Your small intestine uh, actually has the ability to make certain enzymes. Your stomach actually makes a few enzymes. The microbes in your intestine, both small and large, also make enzymes. But enzymes help you break down specific things like carbohydrates, proteins, fats. The more that you eat raw foods, the more help you get with enzymes. Why? Because heat destroys the enzymes in food. So if you're consuming mostly cooked food or canned food or pasteurized food, you're gonna deplete your enzymes and the more enzymes you might need to take. You actually can take a blend of quite a few different enzymes as a nutritional uh, assistance when you eat certain foods. But the point is that if you have enough enzymes, you actually can digest a lot. If you don't, then you actually get all sorts of symptoms from indigestion, you can get um, 
a dark, uh, tarry stool, like a kind of a black stool that sticks in the toilet seat because you're not breaking down the fats. There's an enzyme called lipase that works together with the bile to really take fat and break it down into the smallest particles. Now let's talk about flora. Flora is your friendly bacteria. It's the microbiome. Most of the flora in your body is in the large intestine. You have small amounts uh, on the outside of the body, uh, actually in every crevice of your body, as well as even in the small intestine. So taking a probiotic is a very smart thing to do because that will build up your flora. Now, if you had an antibiotic or you consume a lot of GMO food, you're gonna lose your friendly bacteria and then you're gonna get things like constipation. You won't be able to make certain vitamins. You have nutritional deficiencies. There's a whole list of things that happen when you lose the flora. So you need probiotics, and then you also need the food that feeds these microbes, and that's called a prebiotic or fiber. Uh, and I recommend getting your fiber from these things called vegetables. Then we have something over here called the parasympathetic nervous system. Now this opposes the sympathetic nervous system, which is the flight or fight mechanism. So that's like more stress. This is rest and digest. What stimulates this system is keeping your stress low, okay? Also, taking B1 from nutritional yeast can actually stimulate this system. And this system helps, it's called peristalsis, the pumping action of your colon. Also taking more potassium will help support this system as well as taking more magnesium. And if you want to see the entire digestion from A to Z, a more comprehensive video, I put it right here, check it out.